you know, these um, journeys are like filled with like roads not taken. And I think we did the best that I think we got the best outcome for for Vigo's comfort. But it's hard for us. When you when you turn down a medical intervention that's offered, um, you have to take the responsibility for that. And you have to um, live with, on your hard days, live with what if. And then it's, that's why it's really important to go back to all the reasons why you didn't choose it and all of the like loving thoughtfulness and heart wrenching, you know, sleepless nights that got you there and all the good days you had, right? Like, because what I've learned in this experience, whether you intervene or you don't, you're always, and, and you're always, you're making a decision. You're, you're playing God. Nobody wants to play God. And, and I think some, in some ways, in order to like default or to not feel any type of accountability or responsibility as a parent, we, we, we can default to like more intervention, more intervention, more intervention, because we don't want to feel guilty and we don't want to wonder, but we kept trying. And I would have those moments where I'd be like, but I, but I, 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 and then I kept trying to bring it back to what is, what is like Vigo's experience? This is about his experience, not about mine, right? And I want to, and so we kind of came up with these like central decision-making tenets for him. And one of them was his subjective experience is the center. It is first and continually centering that. And, you know, that that could look so different for for different children and different families. I don't think that like there's any one right choice or wrong choice because every family and every child is different. But if we as parents are trying to center our child's experience every day with every choice, I don't see how we can go wrong. One, a friend who's a doctor actually said to me once, and I felt like it really helped. She said, he's just like a little baby Buddha. And I was like, what does that mean? And she said, he's just, he's living in the present moment. Like he knows only his present moment. Is his present moment comfortable? Does he feel safe? That's, that's his whole world. And so we really, we're really careful about like, if we take him out of his comfort zone, we wanted to make sure that we had a really good reason um, because we recognized that he was like a little baby. 